super clay sharpening. I've got my red Faberware kitchen knife here that I wanted to hone a little bit. It is pretty dull. I've already set the angle and I've got that going. And right now I have the 600 grit stone and we're gonna take it from 600 all the way up to, uh, let's do 0.1 micron. But for this one, I'm just gonna do the one, the 0.5, and then the 0.1 micron. Here we go. So I want to create a nice burr for the length of the blade here. All right, so we got a nice burr going, so I'm gonna flip it over and then work on this side with the same style of strokes, all of downward. And if your knife flips like that, a way that you can fix that with the KME is you can tighten this just a tiny bit. You don't want to over tighten, but you can tighten it a tiny bit and it won't flip as easy. And I've removed all the Sharpie on both sides, so this angle is spot on. And I'm going to try just downward strokes on this knife um, for the entirety of it including the straps. And we have a nice burr, so I'm gonna do the downward strokes to remove the burr, very, very light pressure, and then we'll move to the 1500, and then we'll go from 1.5 to 0.1 micron.
All right, so the bear is gone. So we're going to change out to the 1500. Some fresh oil on there. Dowdy two will work. And we want to redevelop the burr for the 1500 grit. I'm trying these downward strokes because I use this knife a lot when I cook and I want to see if its cutting performance is any different or even noticeable whatsoever by sharpening it this way. And we have a burr for the full length, so we'll continue on this side and then we'll go to the one micron strop. The one micron strop is 16,000 grit. And we have a burr for the full length. So now we'll remove the burr and then we'll move on to the straps. So we'll flip it back over, work on this side, very gently remove the burr, and then do the same for the other side. What I'm doing is I'm checking for the burr on both sides. That's why I'm kind of pinching the knife, if you will. So that removed the burr. So we'll do the same process on this side, a couple light passes. Perfect. So now we'll move on to the one micron. So we've got the one micron here. The one micron is, like I said earlier, 16,000 grit. And this already has a real nice shine to it.
All right, from here, we're gonna go to the 0.5 micron. The 0.5 micron is 60,000 grit. So we got the 0.5 there. And we'll finish it off real quick with the 0.1 micron. That already has a really nice edge on it. The knife was in perfect shape. There wasn't any sort of chips or dings in it. So that's why this was such a fast hone or resharpen. Um, this, one, this one was in really nice shape. Most of my kitchen knives are. There's only one that's kind of bad, but I'm gonna fix that pretty soon. That's the fun of having these different systems is you can fix all kinds of issues with knives and then make it so easy. All right, so let's grab a sheet of paper here and try a little cut test. So I got a little sheet of notebook paper. So we'll take this out. There you have it. Dull to just shaving sharp in no time. You can, can cut little curly cues. All right, guys. I'm Super K Sharpening. I post a bunch of videos on YouTube, as y'all know, and have been watching, and I appreciate that. I appreciate all y'all's support watching these videos. It makes it fun for me to make them when I see y'all watching all these videos, and I see the hours at which y'all watch them. Uh,